To upgrade memory and storage, we have to open this guy up from underneath. I'm going to lay down some protection on the table so we don't scratch the metal. A word of warning, if you've never upgraded, uh, please don't try to DIY this. Just bring it to a shop and let the professionals handle it. Uh, I've been building computers all my life, so I'm familiar with everything. But even then, things can go wrong. So I highly do not recommend you do this yourself unless you have a lot of experience doing it. That being said, let's do a little bit of surgery. There are 12 screws, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. There are four screws that are different sizes. There's two on the top, which I outlined in green, that are a little bit larger. The bottom left and the bottom right are a little bit smaller. Don't mix them up so that you can put the right screws in place when you put this back together. Let me give you a fair warning. Please use a good quality screwdriver and do not strip the screws. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver sized PH0. I have a small container on which to put my screws afterwards. I'm putting this one outside. This is the corner one because it seems to be a little bit smaller than the others. I'm going to use this tool here. We lift the lid. Here are the innards underneath this black foil, which we're gonna carefully peel away. The memory is 16 gigabyte DDR5, 4800 megahertz. It's a dual channel, so it's faster if there are two chips in there instead of one. So instead of having one 16 gigabyte chip, it's much faster if you have two eight gigabyte chips. You can have a maximum of 32 gigabytes. Our SSDs are here and also a second slot there. Those are PCIe four by four lanes. So what I'm gonna do now is insert a second SSD into that slot. Uh, before you touch anything though, I just made a very big mistake uh, putting this laptop on top of this material, uh, this stuff carries static electricity. So uh, that was not a good move. Discharge any static electricity before you touch anything or you might end up frying a chip. Okay, so just warning you guys. And you can discharge by touching anything connected to ground. So let's insert this now. and our SSD is in. While we're here, I'm gonna point out the battery. This is a 76 watt hour battery, a four cell lithium ion. You can remove this if you need to by pulling out this power cable and three screws here, here, and here. Okay, we're gonna put the black foil back on. Modules are covered correctly. Put back the cover. And you can notice that the first screw is still in there. That doesn't come out. Snap everything back into place. Fingers are crossed. If everything went according to plan, it should turn on without a problem. Okay, the lights are on. It's a good sign. That's also a good sign. Ooh, okay, Whew. things are looking good. Let's check to see if it recognizes the drive and this PC and yes, the data is here. This is my uh, 
one terabyte SSD drive. This is the SK Hynix that I just installed and it looks good. If you don't see the drive, uh, you can always check disk management. So you right click on the windows, go to disk management here, and it'll show you the drives. It already recognizes uh, my drive because it was formatted before, but if it wasn't, you can always come to disk management. Uh, you'll see the drive here, right click on it, and you uh, delete the volume or extend the volume or whatever you need to do, format it. That probably helps uh, to a Windows format. As a reminder, almost all the screws are big, except for one that's really small. And that's really small one goes in the bottom left-hand corner here. So I'm gonna start with that one first. Okay, we're done. So our surgery was successful, it worked, yay.